met Kim Jong Gook from Running Man. Okay, so it's like, oh my god, how can I find him in the corner of the street like this? It's so random, you know. And so, so yeah, I... they do more movement. One, two, three. One, two, three. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. So I was a bit shocked. Yeah, sarang eh. Yeah, sarang eh. Like. Anya siya yero bun kari sinimida. Hello everyone, my name is Kari. And this is the KFUNSA Mentorship Program for 2024. I have with me an amazing person, and we are Team Kaja. I'm going to let her introduce herself to you guys. Okay? Okay. 안녕하세요, 여러분. 안녕하세요. 저는 장치우예요. 서와디카. I'm from Thailand. <laughs> so Yay. my name is Chang Chihu from Diary of Chang Chihu. I love Korea so much. Guys, Korea has bought Chang Chihu. Which you can call her Jiu and I together, and today we just want to explore our experience of Korea, mm -hmm. and that is what this video is going to be about. Like I mentioned before, this became Influencer Mentorship Program for 2024, and it's super amazing because we get to meet each other from different parts of the world and share our love and experience for Korea, which cuts us across K-pop, K-travel, K-destination entertainment k food to mention a few so this is a podcast genre and let's jump right into the video yay hey. welcome to my channel this is a korean channel it's a new channel so guys my channel is named nigerian korean lover it's a channel born out of the interest of the korean cultural art Okay, I'm also interested in collaborating, you know, if you love Korean culture or if you want me to like review Korean products, you can email me and you can send me a DM. So I hope that you subscribe to my channel. I hope that you join me in this ride as I make videos. In this video, we're going to look at four different areas of cultural shock. The first one is definitely to look at the general cultural shock that is arriving in Korea and what we were surprised by seeing. The second culture shock is a specific culture shock where we look at you know how the food was to us, how K-pop, the entertainment industry in general is. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to like share our expectations of Korea. You know, if we want to go back to Korea, we we'll want to experience more if we have time. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go ahead to end the video. Okay, so let's okay. enjoy, guys. Yay! Ah! Ah! <laughs> To start with the general shock. So basically, just share with us your experience of getting to Korea. How did you see it? What shock did you experience? Okay. Okay, sure. So for me, the counter shock, like as soon as I arrived in uh South Korea, uh the first thing is the airport is so clean. <laughs> yes. Okay. The culture shock is so clean because because in my country, in some part, it's not that clean, but it's so clean. And I find the robot, like, keep walking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. Like, wow, what is that? So it's a uh, cleaning robot. So it's trying yeah. to clean everything. Like, everything is on the floor. It's, it's clean. It. So I feel like, Wow, this is kind of like innovation industry, like in in innovation country. Like, uh, is I don't I, we don't have that in our country back at that time, but actually we 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 have it right now. But for me, the real uh counter shock is um not only about the, the airport, but I think the the culture called kimchi bang. Do you know the kimchi bang? No, no, I don't. Yeah, the the jimji bang for me, uh, is the thing that I don't, I I didn't understand that uh -huh. first because in Thailand we have a, a a massage shop. You know, Thailand is quite popular for massage, like massage. Yes, yes, Thailand, yes, right? yes, yes. Yeah, you you know it, right? So I I only know the massage shop, the 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 spa, but I don't get the concept of like taking a shower or a, taking a bath together with other people. That we got naked. Okay. I feel like okay. oh, this is so so embarrassing. I I, I was so shy. <laughs> is this yeah. like is this, is this the the right thing to do? Like like uh, it's so new for me. Like everything is so new. But apart from the like get naked and shower in front of other people, I think it's there's something quite interesting about the Jim Jiu Bang because it's not only a bath the the bathing place. But there is also uh underground. Uh, normally there's like underground floor, right? 
Yeah. So it's a place that people come and hang out. It's more okay. like socialized with each other, like keep talking, watching television yeah. together. They even have a, a canteen, like a, a restaurant that you can buy oh, the wow. drink. Right, and then you can mm -hmm. like, like this, and then eat like yeah, boy eggs like together. In K -dramas. Yeah, it's just like the K drama, and I and I yeah. I, I feel like, uh, do I have to go in to to experience it? I I, I was hesitating for like, so long time, and then I decided to go inside the gym gym box, and I feel like, oh, like where can I find something to cover my like here and there? Like, oh, it's so it's so. Uh, this is the most culture shock for me. But once I get in there, like just once, there will be a twice. <laughs> you will enjoy it. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's, that's so cool. I feel like our culture shock was for me. Yeah, when I maybe I landed in Korea, the first because I went during um November, so yeah. the first cultural shock was the weather. <gasps> no, I was so shocked because I was coming from a from a hot temperate. You know, it was yeah. hot. Yeah. When I got to Korea, everywhere was so cold. <laughs> and then when I landed, you know, the technological advancements in Korea was something that caught my fancy. I was super shocked. Like, everything was working. All the, you know, all the um, terminals had their own boards where you can look at for yeah. where you want to pick your luggage. Those things. I was like, oh, wow. And then I saw the robot. And I saw the robot. I was like, oh. It's my first time I've seen a robot. I've never seen a robot before. I've seen it in movies. Yeah. But when I saw the robot, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so this, that was like a ch culture shock for me. The weather, the technological advancements. And also, they were helpful. You know, when I asked for, because I didn't really understand. It's my first time traveling um, out, out of Africa. Oh. You know, I've traveled to some, to some African countries. Yeah. But I've never gone like to an international scene. Like maybe... Korea, mm -hmm. US, something. Mm -hmm. So it was my first time. So I didn't really know how to where to check to pick up my luggage. Yeah. And all those things. So people were so helpful. And even when I was passing through immigration, I didn't have any challenge. Once they checked my passport, mm -hmm. checked my invitation is that they were very nice about it. They were not they were very helpful. Mm -hmm. It was a form of culture shock for me to have people be very nice, you know, despite you know, some of them didn't understand. They didn't understand me. But when I pointed to luggage, mm. they're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. They now pointed me to that board and the board now showed me where to pick up my luggage. So, you know, mm. their um, the technology, the weather, it was a form of culture shock for me. Okay? Mm. Yeah. So we are going... What, do you have something to say? I think the about about the weather because uh, we are from the country that is kind of like hot, right? In, in your country, okay. it's, it's, it's mostly hot weather, right? Yes. Thailand as well. Weather. We have okay. only one season, hot. Okay. Actually, we have four. Hot, very hot, super hot, so damn hot. <laughs> so yeah. I got quite a shock as well about the weather in the winter. Yeah. I agree, I agree. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to go to the next culture shock, which is the specific culture shock. As you both know, Jio and I, we love Korean food. We love eating Korean food. I love cooking Korean food too, but eating it is like one of my happiest moments in South Korea. Yeah. So I want us to like share our experience of culture shock. What mm -hmm. what shocked us about the food? Is it the taste? Is it the look? Is it, you know, different things? So I want you to share with, share with me, to share with us generally your culture shock with regards to Korean food. Okay, sure. First of all, I want to... I, I want to say about the packaging first because you know in, in everything in Korea is super cute, right? It's not only the packaging, but uh the packaging is so attractive to me. Like yes. when I walk past through the, the shop and then I saw inside, like wow, like the cup, even a cup of coffee, you know, they have uh yeah. creative, they have a creativity on the cup of coffee, and almost everything looks like uh, it's so cute. I really want to buy them on. Even I don't know about the test. Like I just want to buy everything. So I'm I'm quite shocked that how Korean people always uh do everything in creative way, in the cute way. And the uh, talking about the coffee, the coffee cup. Uh this is 
quite shocked for me because in Thailand, we normally drink coffee in the morning. Like we wake up, we drink coffee because we believe that coffee will keep us awake like all day long, right? But we don't drink coffee at night because it's a uh, bedtime. We need to go to bed. So if we drink okay. coffee, we cannot sleep, right? But in Korea, you know, Koreans, people always drink coffee all the time. Like even yeah. in the evening, they drink coffee. They, they order ice americano. Like, what so how can you sleep and they said there's nothing about the sleep you can drink coffee so i'm quite i'm quite shocked about that as well because my mom told me that don't drink coffee in the evening so that you cannot sleep so this is a big culture shock for me about the drink in korea and one more thing mm -hmm. about the uh, chili because i'm from mm -hmm. thailand thailand is the land of Tom Yam Gung, you know, <laughs> like the, the spicy, the spicy, spicy yeah, yeah, the spicy food. So I'm quite good. I think I'm quite good at eating something like in spicy taste. Uh, and I imagine that at first, I think uh, like kimchi shige or any like uh, paste, the chili paste, it would be so spicy, like so, so spicy, super spicy. And after I taste it, oh, okay, it's not that spicy at first at first yeah. and then after that after i wait for like three seconds or four seconds it's starting to hot inside like <laughs> oh, oh, oh and then boom spicy so <laughs> quite shock <laughs> that's quite shock mm -hmm. okay okay so with my own experience for the food culture the shock so first of all i think my experience my shock was their junk that's um, gochujang, jiojang. Mm -hmm. It was always in, like, in food. Do you yeah. understand? Like, yeah. for example, teboki is made with um, jang. They are yeah. soups. They are made with jang, like kimchi, kimchi jjigae, yeah. um, jiojang, jjigae. But yeah. you understand. So, And I was also shocked about the presence of soup. So in my country, when it comes to soup, we eat it with mussels that are swallow. We call it swallow, mm. but then it's mussel food. So we, when I saw soup as part of the dish, when I saw soup as part of the dish in the Korean you know, food, I was expecting, okay, maybe I will see a mussel food as a swallow food. But no, all I saw was, you know, um, banchans, different yeah. banchans, side yeah. dishes. And I was like, oh my God. This is so cute. Like I, I've seen it in Korean dramas. I was shocked by the amount of different side dishes. Mm. I was shocked that their soup is like their main dish. Yeah. And then for you can always order rice with any meal you get in Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was, was a shock for me because rice here is like you eat it maybe as a breakfast or as lunch with probably stew. But in Korea, or rather, based on my own experience, you could order rice anytime you order food. Like, I ordered um, ramyeon, yeah. and I asked for rice, and they gave me a bowl of rice. Yeah. When I was I was eating a um, jojang jiga, that was a um, soybean, soybean paste soup. Yeah. I ate rice. You know, I just, even when I, I think I ordered, um, there was one time we were eating um, vegan food with um, teboki, with yeah. um, jajamyeon, with mm. um kimchi you know and i could order rice so it was a culture shock for me and also when you said something about spicy it's the same thing so in my country we eat a lot of spicy food yeah and i was expecting you know when that korean food will be very spicy and some of them were spicy mm. some of them were not you know so I, it was just a burst of of taste you know you will eat it and then it will be sweet, it will be sour, it yeah. will be spicy all together. So yeah. it was a very, um, was very, very shocking for me because I'm used to having one taste. Like if you are ah. going to take pepper soup, it's going to be peppery. If you are going to take this, it's going to be sugary. Like you know the exact taste of your food. So yeah. experiencing the food culture in Korea from banchans to mm. rice to street food, I was super shocked and it was an amazing experience. So if you're in Korea, anybody that is going to Korea, make sure you try out different Korean food. Okay? Yeah. Wow. You know, Yay. talking about Korean food make me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I miss I miss I miss eating Tebuki. 
you know, funny enough, I ordered um the cup tebuki, mm. but it's not it's not as delicious as the street tebuki. You know, when they do it in that big bowl in the street market, and for mm. you all in the restaurant when you order it, it's so nice. Okay, so mm. we're going to go to the next culture shock, which is entertainment that it covers K-pop and K drama. When yeah. you go to Korea, did you experience any K-pop culture, any K-drama culture? How was it? How did you see it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I love Korea is about like all about K entertainment. <laughs> I start, yeah. I start like falling in love with Korean from the K-pop first, and then I mm-hmm. I trying to uh watch the K drama as well, and then I got addicted. I got addicted to K-pop to K drama. And then to K everything. So this is this is all about like this is the first starting point that make me fall in love with Korea. So one mm-hmm. of the reason why I go to Korea like so often because I want to like experience the K entertainment as well. Okay. But the thing that I wanna uh talk about the culture shock about the K entertainment is uh specifically to the dance industry. Because okay. you know, in K-pop, there are so many uh, idol groups, right? But the yes, but, but yeah, but the success of the K K-pop idol is not only idol alone. It's starting mm-hmm. from the dancer, the the producer, and and everything behind the stage, right? So I'm quite interested in uh the the dance industry because I I personally I dance as well. So I oh, wow. went to wow, you you can't imagine, right? But I dance, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I, so I, I, I go to Korea because I want to attend the dance class in Korea because okay. I know that, uh, K-pop industry is quite famous not only for the song mm-hmm. but for the dance move mm-hmm. as well. So I went okay. to uh the famous dance studio called One Million Dance Studio. Oh yes, the I famous, know them. <laughs> you know them, right? Yeah. Yeah. On YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, you saw you saw them on YouTube, right? Because they're quite good then, at like choreograph, right? Mm. Yeah, Jay so Kim. I, I don't know if you know Jay Kim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He that's... came to Nigeria. He came to Nigeria. He did oh. the dance class in my country. Wow. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Because you you yeah. know, I went I went there once and then I took a class. Um uh actually at that time I took a class with Min Nam Young, which is quite famous. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, you know her, right? Wow. She's so big, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the best experience so far, and I still have the video clip recording, like when I when I study as well. So comparing mm-hmm. to uh what is happening in Thailand, because at that time there was a uh, like just few dance studio in in Thailand because it's not that popular, but you know from time to time the dancing like dancing activities getting popular more and more in in Thailand. So right now we have uh more dance studio and in some studio they invite Korean choreographer to hold a pop-up class oh. in Bangkok as well. So I feel like oh. wow. So right now we we have we have some whole case in, in in dancing in the K-pop yeah. industry. But you know the thing that I I I, I want to that's the reason why I mentioned the 1 million dance studio, studio is because back at that time I randomly walk like I am trying to walk to the 1 million dance studio and I can't fly away. I, I couldn't fly away. I randomly walk here and there here and there this street and that street. And then, you know, I randomly met Kim Jong-guk from Running Man. I was just like, oh my God, how can I find him in the corner of the street like this? It's so random, you know? So I told him, like, I'm from Thailand. I'm your fan. People in Thailand love you. We love Running Man. And then he said, oh, okay, let's take a photo. So I got a selfie with him, like, Kim Jong-guk. So, you know, the airplane ticket is zero baht already it's zero us dollar already because i cannot try to follow him like uh, that's my culture shock experience <laughs> okay that's, that's so cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so my own k-pop culture experience is so i'm not really a dancer but mm-hmm. i like listening to k-pop music so on getting to Korea, one of our programs was to take K-pop dance class. 
Wow. And we 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 did that uh, quick quick small uh, um down for you at quick small mm-hmm. and you know they brought a dancer to put us to it was so difficult for me to dance <laughs> I don't know how to dance I was dancing off key I'll definitely like show you guys the video of me dancing off key <laughs> but the experience was something worth enjoying so. Um, a culture shock for me when it comes to K-pop, especially K-pop dance, is the... So in my country, there are different forms of dancing. Mm-hmm. And, you know, looking at that, you know, I could see, like, the different culture. Because in my country, we do more of waist dance, body yeah. dance. But in Korea, they do more of movement. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. Uh-huh. So I was a bit shocked, even if I'm not really a dancer. And also the song pattern also was a shock for me so in nigeria we have we have different genres but one of the most popular is afrobeat and we can see that Ooh, Korea like and nigeria yeah <laughs> you know it. I, like <laughs> <laughs> I know that i know that so it was that's why it being different you know the the uniqueness of both culture makes it amazing and then i got to experience like different K drama filming locations. Wow. Like uh, like the one used in A Good Day to Be a Dog, Chai Wun's drama. Mm. You no, know, I got to the I, I I'm trying to remember the name. Uh uh astrological one astrological building. I shall was there and then also we went through Gyeong Bokum Palace. Oh, okay. mm. Yes and just you know experiencing the palace, experiencing the place was a culture shock for me. So mm. in my country, they have palaces also. Mm. Is but I don't really travel a lot here. Mm. But I know that most times our palaces are not really open to the public. You have to apply to enter. As yeah. compared to Korea, where these places are open for the public, all you have to do is probably wear an ambok or you know get a ticket or something. So it was mm. a culture shock for me to go to a palace just yeah. like that. Yeah, you understand, yeah. and to yeah. experience where K drama has been filmed, so it was was what it was what it, it was an amazing experience. Um, we are going to we are getting to the end of this video, and basically, I just want us to share how we dealt with um our cultural shock, and then how you know how how we are looking forward to going to Korea again, and then. We will then introduce our channels and that will be all. So you can share with us your how you dealt with your culture shock. Mm. Um, if you want to go back to Korea, what do you want to experience more in Korea? Yes. Okay, sure. Actually, uh, listening to your culture shock story, I think my culture shock story, like from, from Thai and Korea, is not that like it's not that different so much because we are in uh asia like yeah. so we have something in common like asian culture something like that so but you are from like different part of the world so i'm quite sure that the culture will be yeah. super shocked because it's like yeah. it's, it's everything that so different right so for me uh as a thai and i am still in asia continent so i think the culture shock between thai and Korean is not that it's not that shock, right? Comparing to your story, because you are like in different part of the world, in different yeah. continent. So there will be something like super twist, right? Mm-hmm. So for me, dealing with the uh with a different culture uh is not that hard though. Because I have a mindset, like everybody is different. So we have to like we have to understand what other yeah. people believe, what other people behave. So yeah. for me, I think I, I, I love exploring new things because uh, new thing, even I think it weird, like why, why we have to get naked in front of other people. But there's some yeah. reason. There's always some reason from, like, from other countries. So I, I'm, I'm quite good with, uh, I, I'm, I'm quite okay with different culture. And what I'm looking for, like, in the next trip in Korea, I think I went to several places. I went to the famous one already, 
I went to the like the the landmark, the shopping, the uh, like for food or even for K entertainment. But what I haven't been there is more like like real culture, like like the real culture, the making kimchi or like how to make how to cook Korean food. I wanna understand more about that. I wanna explore more about the food, not only for like street food, but original Korean food. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So for me, the cultural shock was a bit much, but I was so lucky because of I had you know managers, I had different people to help me you know relate with other people, and the p- different people I met, the Koreans I met, they were so nice. Like for example, when I wanted to do my laundry. I couldn't get to the coin based place to do my laundry, mm. and my roommate and I we asked you know someone on the street where we could get to the place, and they were so helpful. I was like okay, you know they used Google Translator and they yeah. helped us, they directed us to the place, and then when we got there, you know like I said, technological advancements were one of the shocking culture for me, mm-hmm. and when we got there, we couldn't you know use the washing machine and everything it was in korean and i i am currently learning korean so it was a bit difficult for me to understand the instructions and we went to the street and we saw two koreans a boy and a girl passing through and we asked them please can you help us you know do this and they brought out their translator they spoke to the translator the translator translated like you know this uh i can't remember the app um on the app that we u s e helped us You know to translate, um, to translate it, and mm. then we you know got what they needed. In fact, they helped us. They helped us get the card. Yeah. In what I'm trying to say is, Koreans are very friendly, mm-hmm. and if you happen to be in Korea, and you're a bit shocked. You can always there's always somebody you can walk up to to meet. Especially, um, when you're walking through or you're doing tourism and you're walking through Korea, you see tourist police. Yeah. You, know? you can walk up to them. And speak to them, and they will help you. And for example, if you get missing, there's always this um um online chat that you can chat with. You know, it's a Korean government um chat box. I, I can't remember what the name is, but then you can chat with them. Or you have like there's this thing that they give you at the airport, or the touring coming touring crew you come with. You just show it to whoever it is. If it's the driver, if it's The uh, taxi, you just show them, and they'll take you to exactly where you are going to. Mm-hmm. So that was how I was able to deal with my culture shock. And then one of the ways I dealt with my culture shock when it came to food was I looked for something with similar taste. So in my country, or rather for me, I eat a lot of spicy food. So yeah. whenever I was eating any food, you know, I took kimchi with rice. Um, like I took kimchi with rice. I took familiar drinks, like you know, different soda drinks that was yeah. similar to my culture. And then the good thing is, I got to explore the Korean culture, and I realized that it is very interesting. It is amazing, and one of the things that my country and Korea have in common is respect. So mm-hmm. Korea and Nigeria have respect. So as long as you have respect for each other, have respect for. Korean culture, Thailand culture, Nigerian culture. As long as you have respect for an individual, you shouldn't have any um, problem, you know. Yeah. And that is really, really helpful. Okay. Wow. So so touching. <sighs> yeah. So um, for me, my next trip to Korea, I definitely want to visit different places, historical places. And the uh, K drama places like I want to visit maybe all those historical villages. I want to visit museums. I wasn't able to visit Angol Museum. Visit, uh, you know, there was a lot of museums at in j o n g o Street, j o n g n o District. Oh, no. Yeah, and I wasn't able to cover all those places. So I definitely want to visit there. And then I also want to visit Enso Tower. <laughs> wow, I, I wasn't able to go there too because I went to Insa Dong. So I definitely yeah. want to visit. There too, um, all in all, Korea is a beautiful place, and everybody should have an opportunity to, you know, visit Korea, experience Korea, experience the culture shock, and also learn to, you know, adapt to it. You know, and like you said, you mentioned how, um, it's easy for you to just, um, it might be a shock at first, mm. but with consistency and with some um, understanding, 
it becomes easier. Okay. Yes. So that is that for me. Yeah. And okay, so we are coming to the end of this video, and uh, I just want you to like introduce yourself while we, you know, end this. And yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh. So my name is. Uh. Actually, my name in Thai name is I. I mean love, lovely, oh, or, or something like that. <laughs> sarange, yeah, sarange, like that. But my Korean name, the Korean people always call me Chang Chi Hu. So I'm from Diary of Chang Chi Hu channel. We, uh, I have YouTube channel. I have the website called Chang Chi Hu. I wrote some article there as well because I love Korea so much. I starting to love Korea from the K-pop, the K entertainment, but uh, now I love everything about Korea. So you can find all of the content about the Korean content in my channel. Uh, thank you. Yes. So guys, so guys, if you want to visit Korea, make sure you know the weather you are going for so that you can be prepared. Um, make sure you have your hotel bookings, your contact person. If you are just going on your own, make sure you sort out your return tickets, your hotels, your accommodation it helps you to plan better in your trip to korea okay so guys my name is kadi and my channel is nigerian korean lover i also have a korean website and korean l um, .com. i have a korean instagram still nigerian korean lover a korean facebook page nigerian korean lover tiktok and basically all social media pages oh. <laughs> they are all called nigerian korean lover and yeah this is the end of our podcast genre video where we share our experience of being in korea thank you guys so much for joining us jiho thank you so much for coming on this video it was super amazing to you know have you here and to listen and hear your perspective and i'll see you people in my next video bye guys bye bye, this the, <laughs> bye. so this is the k influencer mentorship program and we are team night team Ta <laughs> don't forget uh, to subscribe so don't forget yeah, to subscribe don't forget to subscribe to <laughs> like to share uh. and to the notification <laughs> thank you for watching remember to like share subscribe and turn on